Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I will show you how to render out animations and images in Eevee, and then how to save them afterwards. As always, it's not going to be a very complicated tutorial, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so before we start the tutorial, let's just make sure that you have either Blender 2.8 or a later version of Blender, which includes Eevee. And the link will be in the description. Let's uh, download the test file as well, and I'm going to download the Ember Forest because it's an animation. Let's open it in Blender 2.8, the Ember Forest, and uh, once we get into the file, you will see that the animation is kind of sloppy. So uh, I'm going to convert it into an MP4 file and render it out completely. But first, let me show you how to render it out as an image. So just click the camera icon. That is going to render it out as a still image. And this is what it looks like. And uh, let's save the image as well. So click Save as Image. And just save it wherever you want on the computer. And that is basically how you render out an image in Eevee and save it. And when it comes to um, the uh, file type, I usually set it to a PNG before I save it. OK, and then click Save as Image. And when it comes to the animation part, we need to uh, first go back to the 3D view. And then let's go up to the output settings. So select the output. This is where the uh, file is going to end up, the MP4 file. And select somewhere on your computer where you want to save the file. As you can probably tell by now, the uh, way of saving renders is very similar to the normal way of saving renders in cycles. But the only difference is that we render out the images and the videos in the viewport. I will set the video type to FFMPEG and then down here in the encoding set it to MPEG4. And then increase the samples a few times to increase the quality of the render. And you can also increase the quality down in the encoding by setting it to high quality instead of medium quality. And uh, to render out the animation, you just need to click the animation icon and then you're done. I decided to speed up this part because uh, it actually takes quite some time to render out the animation, but it took me about an hour of rendering, which is a lot faster than cycles. And once the animation is done rendering, you have the finished MP4 file. And that's basically it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll post a new tutorial next week.